In today's video, we're going to be talking about the fact that these audio teasers are actually fake or they're not actually teasing FNAF like this theory actually said. Um, this theory kind of claimed for those of you that missed the last video that Springtrap's jump scare was heard at the end of the video and uh, a lot of things have come to light so we're going to go through it. This is going to be more of like a discussion podcast kind of video that's going through the entire thing because a lot of things happened on Twitter today. And uh, before we jump into it, I wanted to announce that I'm starting a second channel. It's called Not Schmuckles. And we're going to be talking about uh, things in Dead by Daylight like game balance, quality of life changes, and ways that Dead by Daylight can improve as a game. I have about 3,700 hours in Dead by Daylight. My current channel is talking about licensing and speculations and literally content that does not exist in Dead by Daylight yet. Um, so I, I feel like I'm very limited in that way. So I wanted to start a second channel that kind of is more of like a Dead by Daylight discussion channel where we can talk about things because I really feel I have things I want to say about the game. We'll, we'll add some gameplay videos as well if it adds to the discussion or whatever current discussion we're having on that channel. So I'm going to put the link to that in the description below if you're interested in joining me in conversations like that. So to me, these theories were never really about if it sounded like Springtrap because it sounded exactly like Springtrap. It was more of like, is the whole thing fake or would behavior actually tease FNAF in this way? this early this earlier in the teaser week or the teaser season whatever you want to call it so i kind of had the notion like if you if we went to larry memorials institute map and we played the actual sound in the game and then we put it through the exact same transformations that this fellow did uh how would it compare to what the results of this person got from behaviors teases that's kind of a way to tell if spring traps jump scare is planted inside the teases uh, and obviously it wouldn't have come out in the in-game audio files. As soon as I said that, I, I kind of got some weird responses. Like people were saying like, I told him to do so, but he hasn't. I think he's faking it. So a lot of kind of ideas that this thing was possibly fake started coming out. And I was like, I just posted a video about this. It's a possible theory. And if this thing's fake, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to be honest about it and tell everyone that it's fake if it's fake. So I said, people are starting to suspect this whole thing is fake. And I just want to express that it's possible that this, this fellow, not Stalin, might have done this as a joke and uh, not realized the attention would get. And if it was a meme, I kind of wanted this person to come forward and kind of just say it's a meme because I can't reproduce the experiment that they did because I don't know exactly what they did to the audio files to get that result. So there's no way I could kind of test this. So that was about 14 hours ago. And I said after that, so if the spring trap jump scare in the audio files was fake, which I hadn't heard from totally not Stalin at all at this point. So I wasn't sure if it was fake or not. Um, I kind of asked the question, like, why did behavior coordinate a post like this on four different accounts? Like, is it just to quiz the community or was it, is it not related to teases at all? Like, and I asked, did anyone run a spectrograph on this? And I think somebody did. I think Yoshi Eclipse did right here. So I, I don't think there was much that we found from it. I, someone else ran it too. I, I don't really... Here's another one here. Yeah, so there's multiple people who ran this right here. I mean, it's not like spelling anything out. Or I don't think it's anything super, super obvious uh, that we know of at this point. So the next video that I was going to post on my channel was going to be either figuring out conclusively if this thing was fake or not. Uh, whether it's running my own audio test or if uh, not Stalin responded and we kind of got a hold of this whole thing and figured out if it was real or not from the actual creator. And I kind of posted like, so if the spring trap jump scare audio file was fake, then I what what does that mean pretty much? And... People were like, well, it's it, it, it might not be fake. It's not 100% fake, so maybe we shouldn't talk about if it's fake. And my take on this is kind of like if you can't reproduce the result, then the whole thing is kind of fake because in general, theory should be testable and reproducible. Like anyone should be able to get the same result by performing the same audio test that this person did. I did my best to kind of protect the creator as well because if they were like just joking around about this and then like it all of a sudden hits some news content creators channels and then all of a sudden this thing's blown way out of proportions which is kind of what I suspected had happened. So two hours ago, totally not Stalin said, I'm ready to speak about this. Uh, Schmuckles hit the nail on the head. I tried to make a joke and got a few messages, then went to bed. When I woke up, the joke was in multiple YouTube videos being treated as an undeniable piece of proof by some, not the YouTubers. My inbox was flooded with messages asking about the video and I was immediately overwhelmed. Part of the reason I took a break from content creation was that I was having anxiety attacks. After it became too much, I turned off notifications for Twitter and locked the app. I had no idea that my little joke would garner this much attention and I suspected even less that people would flock to my dms i can't stress enough how nice schmuckles has been about this they encourage skepticism but not once did they say a bad word to or about me even looking back at the post right now it doesn't look like that this is kind of posted like it's a meme so i kind of just took it like this person was 
was being honest about it. I guess I was kind of naive to the fact that somebody would meme about this this hard. This was just like a portion of what we talked about in the last video. There are still existing theories for other killers out there. Like I'm sure some people still think it's going to be Springtrap for the anniversary. I'm going to post more videos about chapter 24 as more information comes out. And again, if you want to be a part of the upcoming Dead by Daylight discussions that I'm going to be having on my second channel, the link is in the description below. Anyways, thanks so much for tuning into this video. I'll see you in the next one.